Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal, your real estate agent here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, I'm going to talk about how the coronavirus is affecting our real estate market here again in the greater Toronto area. Now, most people are aware that the coronavirus has been the headline in the news over the past month or the past few weeks. And what's so is that it's a lethal sickness. It's going to harm a lot of people. And I'm finding that a lot of people are just locking themselves down. They're not leaving the house much or they're being very safe and very cautious as far as where they visit, of course, depending on the area. So am I noticing an impact when it comes to buying and selling homes? Not necessarily, but when it comes to something as complex as our real estate market and the economy, there's always going to be so many factors. There's factors many, many people don't account for, things like exchange rate. There's political factors, of course, the weather. And coronavirus, it's talked about. I'm beginning to hear the odd sellers say that they are not putting their home on the market, believe it or not. This is a common objection. If you speak to agents like myself who are in the market every single day, talking to 50, 60, 70 people every single day, looking at property, meeting buyers, going and hearing around what's talked about. We're beginning to just hear it come up in conversation. Of course, depending on the area, specifically like York region, if you look at Markham and Richmond Hill, who knows, maybe it's one of the reasons why there's not a lot of homes up for sale and you as a seller can maybe capitalize on that. The only other ways I can see how the coronavirus could impact our market is such that coronavirus is just making it a little bit more challenging for people to leave the country or to enter back to the country. So what so is if a buyer wants to come buy the house or if a buyer here needs another decision maker to enter the country to help them make a decision and that process is being slowed down, then naturally it's just gonna hurt the sales a little bit. But I'm also making this video to let you know that despite the coronavirus, our real estate market is very strong. If you're a seller, look around, look left and right. There's not a lot of homes up for sale. You can again capitalize on this. Don't be surprised if there's a bidding war on your home, especially if you're priced somewhere in the average price range in your area. Of course, there's exceptions to that. If you're a seller who has a more high-end home and you fit like the luxury market, or if you're like within like the top 20% of listings that are available in your area as far as the price range is concerned, then naturally I'd be very surprised if there's a bidding war or your home sells in less than three weeks. That being said, it is also a good idea to hire a good agent that is known to sell homes very, very quickly. As of right now, I'm shooting this video February 6, 2020. We've yet to find a cure, uh, but here are some safety tips I hope you find helpful. Be sure to clean your hands with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub very often. Cover your nose and mouth when you're coughing and sneezing with tissue or with a flexed elbow. Um, avoid close contact with anyone with cold or flu-like symptoms, obviously. Thoroughly cook your meat and eggs. Perhaps you should be a little bit more conscious as far as what meats you're consuming. And lastly, avoid unprotected contact with live animals. I hope you all found that information helpful. I'm looking for business. I'm wondering if you know anybody that's thinking about buying or selling. Please call me, call me, call me. My customers get excellent service. Uh, if you came across this video on YouTube, then be sure to give me a like or a dislike. I don't mind. Subscribe if you want to see more. And hey, if you can find anyone else that may find this information helpful, please do forward the link over to them. Or if you receive this by email, or if you're part of my database, then just forward the email over to them. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know what your thoughts are about the market. Your feedback, again, is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.